It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Oh, no. no leaving without learning. You scared us. I was just enjoying myself. You know, sad man, we think you're related to him. We think he's your... Don't worry your head as to who sad man is. Just remember, today is your last chance to escape. Let's mention. <laughs> We're making a pizza pie. But the trouble is, we can't agree on a topping. <laughs> Now, the dogs here, they want a bony pizza pie. Meanwhile, the cats, meow, they want a fishy pizza pie. And the sheep over there, meow, he wants a grassy pizza pie. Now, since they can't decide, I've come up with a solution to give them a slice each. Exactly the same, but with a different topping. Well, you see, the dogs here, they've got bony toppings. The cats, they've got fishy toppings. And the sheep, a grassy topping. Now, we're going to put them all together, like this, and then we're going to cook the pizza. One slice each. Six slices make a whole pizza. And as you can see, the most popular topping is the bones, followed by the fish, and with the grass, not quite so popular, no. This pizza pie is like a little chart. It's made up of six equal parts. And if you look to see what's on top, you are quite sure to see what's popular. <laughs> Bones comes first, then it's fish, and then it's grass. Can you handle pie charts? Tell us your names. I'm Sarah Bisfan from Watford. Charles Dyer from Clacton. OK, let's warm up some pies. Now, four kids come to school. Two by foot, one by car, one by bus. Make me a pie chart to show that. There are four kids to divide the pie into four equal slices. They're quarters. Two slices represent walkers, coloured green. One comes by car, that's a red slice. One by bus, that's yellow. Put the slices together to make a pie. And title, getting to school. OK, a half on foot, a quarter by car, and a quarter by bus. Right, let's try a bigger sample of kids. Bake me a pie. OK, there's a total of six, ten, twelve children so make 12 equal slices. 6 out of 12 walk, 4 come by car, and 2 by bus. Put the slices together to make a pie, and title, getting to school. So, how many are walking? 6 twelfths, a half. And by car, it's 4 twelfths, a third. And by bus, 2 twelfths, a sixth. If you've got some data to show, then a pie chart is a very good way of doing it. Together, take it all apart. Tell me about the fraction that are on this chart. Six twelfths together have a made a half. Four 
started make a third and two made a sixth. They all got together to complete the mix. Now, let's have some living data and a living pie chart. Together, take it all apart. Tell me about the fraction that are on this chart. A quarter come by bus and a quarter by car. A third come on foot and bike spot the six. They all got together to complete their mix. Okay, last chance. Your last chance to win a maths card to get you out of Maths Mansion. Now get ready for the big test, because the test is ready for you. Stuff. And why not? Now, a class of 30 kids had a vote on who they liked best. Decimal, Thick Stick or Miss Sniff. From the pie chart, what fraction liked Thick Stick? I got it. One sixth. OK. Who got a third of the votes? I know. That's right. A third voted for the nose. What fraction of the votes did the decimal get? He got a half. Quickly, how many is that? Uh... Fifteen. Half of thirty. Right. Next one. Now, the same class of thirty had another vote. This time, it was between the not-so-great-big-hen, the sheep in the field, and Angleman. More sad man stuff. Go for it. What two creatures got the same number of votes? The not-so-great-big-hen and the sheep in the field. What fraction of the votes did the most popular person get? Two-thirds. Quickly, how many votes is that out of 30? 20. And last question, who is that superhero? Angleman! Yes! Yes! You've done it. And here is your last maths card. It's Birdman and Sandman together. You are now all free to leave. Maths. Mention. Yes! Yes, look! All my work here now is done. The future lies with you, my son. Come on, let's get out of here! But your work isn't all done. You've still got one last question. Angleman sleeps from midnight to six o'clock. He has breakfast from six to seven and saves the world from seven till midday. What fraction of that time is spent eating? And remember, after learning, it's leaving. Goodbye. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion. The game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn. Oh. <sighs>